So I, I was thinking, I, I, Miranda is on our council on ministry. She's part of the leadership team that aims to coordinate and communicate ministry. And sometimes I just step back and say, Miranda, how in the world can you do all this? Because you are a teacher. What grade and, and where? I have first through third grade students um, at Nathan Elementary School. And, and not just first through third grade, but what kind of teaching do you do? They, all of my kiddos have significant um, intellectual disabilities. And so I have ten amazing angels who are learning um, academics and social skills all at the same time. So she's making a huge difference there, and you are, on Wednesday nights, you are getting your doctorate? Yes. In what area? I will, in May of 2016, I will have my doctoral degree in um, curriculum and instruction with a focus on special education. Awesome. Taking a stats class right now. Stats class? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And she has been caring for CJ with, with his special needs and running to, to Omaha and caring for him and loving on him and, and sharing him with all of us as we come today. Um, with all that you're doing, you keep busy and still you're committing yourself uh, to the people of St. James and ministry. Why, why is that? As you think about, why, why are you here? I think I was definitely raised by my parents, Ted and Sonia, to give of myself and always give of myself first. Um, I have definitely found throughout life, especially this last year, that if I fully commit and fully trust in the Lord, He will provide in the craziest ways possible. Um, You know, even on November 13th of last year, I would not have ever guessed in a million years that I would be a mom of an amazing little guy that is CJ. And so life has definitely been amazing and awesome in the last year. But just wanting to continue... You know, and be um, be involved. I was telling Ryan last night in an email that I can remember as a three-year-old yanking the offering tray from the usher because I wanted to give it to the little lady on the other side of the queue, and he wanted to do it himself. Um, and I also remember as a youth in a really at the Methodist church giving to what I think was a water buffalo, but I'm pretty sure it was a cow. Um, we brought the quarters to help provide for a family overseas, and so just wanting to I don't know, continue to invest so that CJ can be brought up in a family as you guys are for him. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm thankful for Miranda's gifts of time, and, and uh, she gives to the ministries of the church here, and, and she, you're bringing forward CJ for, for baptism, and so she is near the end where, uh, of the adoption process, like the, the the end is in sight where it will be official, official. Um, but you're bringing CJ to be baptized. And what is the significance of that for you? I think for me, it's being able to know that I have a village behind me and raising him. Um, it takes a village. It takes a village at school. And it takes a village with your own family. And so knowing that I'm allowing you all to help me raise him and to bring him up in the church is, is very meaningful for me. Thanks, Marina. And you've got a couple cool people coming this way, because otherwise, like whenever I stand that close to a candle, I think I'm just going to start myself on fire, so. And who are these folks with you today? My brother, Marcus, and my good, good friend, Emily. Marcus, Emily, welcome. And, and they stand up here, uh, for, you know, to, to pray and support CJ. I'm reminded in baptism, through baptism, you know, the, the liturgy would say that we are incorporated into God's kingdom. Uh, I, I think another word, instead of incorporated... We are adopted, that God adopts us to be part of the family of God. So we're here today to celebrate with CJ and uh, to to pray God's blessing on him. We'll actually continue on page 34, and so I would ask the three of you, on behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? If so, I do. I don't know if Miranda told you you've got questions to answer. (laughs) Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and the oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? If so, I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? If so, I do. Will you nurture CJ in Christ's holy church, that by your teaching and example he may be guided to accept God's grace for himself? to profess his faith openly and to lead a Christian life? If so, I will. Um, 
to you. This is the top of the next page. Do you as Christ's body in the church reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include CJ now before you in your care? Not only is this a good prayer of blessing, but it checks to see how awake you are. Um, Friends, would you join me in confessing the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments? Do you believe in God the Father? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? believe in the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Eternal Father, when nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water, and after the flood, you set in the clouds a rainbow. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land which you promised. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus, nurtured in the water of a womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share the baptism of his death and resurrection and to to make disciples of all nations. Almighty God, pour out your Holy Spirit and bless this gift of water, and he who will receive it, to wash away his sin, to clothe him in righteousness throughout his life, that dying and being raised with Christ, he may share in Christ's final victory. So CJ is soundly sleeping, so we'll see how... Oh, there he goes. Charles James, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God's people said, Amen. Amen. I invite you just to raise your hand in prayer, and I'll invite you all here to join me in praying for this young man and praying a blessing on him. Gracious God, we pray that you would surround CJ, that he is part of your family, part of our family. For that, we give you thanks. God, we pray that in your spirit he may grow in years and stature, that he may grow in your spirit. God, we give you thanks for this life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, you have a new brother in Christ who is awake. (laughs) So he's got on his bow tie this morning, almost as cool as his Batman outfit a few weeks ago. He he is. It's like this guy just poured water all over my head. (laughs) Friends, would you welcome CJ into the household of God? (laughs) 